Hey there dreamers, welcome back to my channel, or if you are new, hi, my name is Jacqueline. Thank you for spending some time here. Consider subscribing if you are into Hoyas and houseplants, that is what we talk about around here. I do not have a set schedule right now, but I'm really glad to be here. Subscribe and click that bell for notifications since I don't have a set schedule right now so that you don't miss out on any of my new videos. Anyway, today I thought we would talk about my philodendron in my houseplant collection. I have a handful of philodendron that I just wanted to show you. I know philodendron is a very popular genus right now, particularly on YouTube, but just in general in the houseplant community. So I thought I would show you what I have. While it's not a large collection, I think it's kind of cute. I enjoy them all. If you're excited to see my philodendron collection, if you enjoy philodendron, hit that like button down below. That does help me out a lot. List your favorite philodendron down below. I would love to hear from you. First up is my philodendron Brazil. I know this is hilarious. It was featured in a video called Plants I Don't Like. I actually was sent a bonus cutting. I never thought I'd say this, but it's growing on me. I kind of take it back. I actually really do like this, but I think a big part of it is just that my Hartley philodendron is basically my favorite plant right now because it's so prolific. This is my philodendron micans, or my velvet leaf philodendron. It is gorgeous. I love this plant. I got mine, excuse you, Darcy. I got mine from Steve's Leaves, and it came in a four inch pot and needed to be repotted shortly thereafter. It was incredibly root bound. I will say it's been struggling a little bit ever since I repotted it into this larger pot. It's gotten a little bit scraggly and that sort of thing and all the propagations that I have placed back in the pot have died. I think maybe I just need to give it more light at the top, but anyway, she's a little bald on the top, just being completely honest. None of my plants are perfect, as I am not either, but love this plant. I've propagated it a lot. This is my most unusual philodendron. This is Philodendron Revolution. I had never seen one before, and I saw this in my local nursery before I moved last year, and it was the only one. I snagged it up in a six inch pot, I wanna say for $25. It's been over a year, I've up potted it recently and it's given me this beautiful new leaf. Some of the other leaves, if you saw that yellow spotting, that is called edema from it sitting in wet soil. I'm not sure why it wasn't draining properly. It's part of why I repotted it. But you can see this new leaf is nice and healthy and clean and no edema. So I love the detail on that leaf so I had to give you a close up. There's the whole plant. This is my Philodendron Burley Marks, which was a rescue mission. This came in very poor condition. They were unrooted cuttings shoved in soil, and I had to root it for months in water. And then I ended up with only one plant. The other plant died of root rot. And this one I have chopped and propped once, and that definitely spurred some more growth on it. I may have to do it again. This one's a little dusty. It had been sitting in my bathroom for a little while, so I gotta clean him up, but. I just think the pattern of these leaves is very similar to the very, very popular Billetier or Billy Tie that is just so hard to get right now. This guy is much more inexpensive and much more available. Love it. This last one is my most prolific grower. This is my Philodendron Heteraceum. You may have also heard it called Cordatum or Heartleaf or Philodendron Scandens. All of those are technically correct. We're kind of getting a sneak peek of a lot of my other plants right now because this is just cascading down the side of a bookcase that holds most of my plants. And I put it up on this cute little stand that I found at Walmart. This was a great find. This guy is super easy going. It doesn't like to dry out too much. The leaves will feel really thin if it's dehydrated. And it gave me this spontaneous leaf of variegation. How cute is that? Thank you so much for watching. If you did watch this video up until this point, please leave me some sort of plant emoji in the comment section so that I know you watched it. That helps me know who's engaging. Plus, interaction helps my channel grow. So if you're looking for ways to help out, Anytime you like, comment, respond to anyone else's comment, that's a really helpful thing. So thank you in advance for any interactions on my channel. I hope you're having a wonderful day or evening wherever you are. Tell me your favorite philodendron down below, your favorite one to care for. Subscribe if you haven't already, hit that like button on your way out, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.